to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is Alphonse Perrin. And this game has been played in New York in 1857. And Paul Morphy surrendered one of his rooks he is playing with the rookos. And Paul Morphy is giving a huge advantage to his opponent. Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, e5, f4, king's gambit, bishop to c5, declined, knight to f3, d6, bishop to c4, knight to h6, f5, knight to c6, b4, sacrificing the b-pawn. And Alphonse Perrin captures the pawn with the knight, knight takes on b4, c3 attacking the knight, b5 attacking the bishop a very bad move by alphonse perrin that was a blunder so paul morphy captures the pawn with the bishop that's check and also attacking the knight c6 attacking the bishop but paul morphy captures the knight and paul morphy is winning a piece so if pawn takes bishop pawn takes bishop and Alphonse Perrin played bishop to f2, that's check, king takes bishop, queen to b6, check, d4, c takes on b5. But still, black has one extra rook. Paul Morphy captures the knight with the bishop, g takes on h6, knight to c3, bishop to b7, queen to d3, a6, rook to d1. And Alphonse Perrin castled. King to f1, unpinning the d pawn. f6, queen to d2, attacking on h6, defending with the king. d5, closing the diagonal. And this bishop on b7 is looking very useless. Rook from a to c8. Knight to e2, rook to c4, knight to g3, rook from f to c8. Doubling the rooks. But Paul Morphy played knight to h5, that's check, king to h8, and then queen takes on h6. And now Paul Morphy is threatening checkmate, queen to g7. So what else? Defending with the queen. Queen takes on f6, that's check. King to g8, knight to g5. And after knight to g5, Alphonse Perrin felt the danger and he sacrificed his bishop. Bishop takes on d5, e takes on d5. But let's take it back. Well, after knight to g5, there is some kind of a forced checkmate. So let's say if a5, a random move, then queen to e6, check king to f8, queen to h6, king to g8, knight takes on h7, and if queen takes knight, knight to f6, forking the king and the queen, queen to e7, another random move, knight 7 to f6, check, king to f7, queen to g7, that's checkmate. So Alphonse Perrin, captures the pawn, bishop takes on d5, e takes on d5, and then Alphonse Perrin played another desperate move, and he played rook to f4. He's throwing everything for preventing the checkmate. Paul Morphy captures the rook with the knight, e takes on f4, and then Paul Morphy played queen to e6 check, king to f8. And it's white to move. And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Well, Paul Morphy played this very beautiful move. Knight takes on h7. We have king to g7. And of course, if queen takes knight, queen takes rook. And black needs to resign after knight takes on h7. Alphonse Perrin played 
king to g7, queen to g6 check, king to h8, knight to f6, and now Paul Murphy is threatening checkmate in two moves. Queen to h6, and how to defend? Knight has occupied the escape square, so the only defense is with the queen, and queen takes queen, that's checkmate. But Alphonse Perrin played another very desperate move, and he played queen to c4, that's check. Let's take it back. If defending with the queen, queen to g7, this is not working because of queen to h5. And there is only two defense in this position, queen to h6 or queen to h7. So black is getting checkmated. If queen to h7, queen takes queen. That's checkmate. So parent played queen to c4 check, king to g1. And then Alphonse Perrin played a funny move. And after that move, at the same time, he resigned. Alphonse Perrin played queen to c7. And then he realized that he is going to get checkmated eventually. So he resigned after this silly move. Queen to c7. The possible continuation is queen to h6, check. Only defense. Queen takes queen. That's checkmate. That's why after queen to c7, Alphonse Perrin resigned. Paul Morphy is teaching chess to Alphonse Perrin. Paul Morphy start the game without a rook, and that was a huge disadvantage for white. But after move 31, black is getting checkmated. What a beautiful chess game by Paul Morphy. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.